Welcome back, everybody. Give it up for Lewis Cato and the Late Show Band. Fantastic. Lovely to see all of y'all. Wonderful to see all of y'all. Have a, a ha happy new year. Happy new year. You ready for you ready for the election year over there? Yeah, yeah, well, it's a big one. Yeah, I've got my cup on. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's gonna be a rough ride, baby. Oh, boy. It's oh, gonna boy. be a rough 24. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, tonight, we have absolutely a delightful performer, a yeah. new colleague of ours, uh, the new host of After Midnight, which will be on after The Late Show a week from tomorrow, starting Ms. Taylor Tomlinson will be out here. This yeah. Renowned. Already. She's only 30. She's only 30, already a renowned stand-up. She's very young and very funny, which after me will be a nice change of pace. <laughs> wow. Folks, uh, I love science, you know? It's the only subject in school that says, yeah, you could trust an eighth grader with a blowtorch and a test tube. <laughs> and I'd like to bring you all the latest sciencey news in my science segment. The sound of science. Hello, science, my old friend. First up. Wow. Wow. Good People good love science. <laughs> First up, ladies and gentlemen, according to a new study, across the world, common pesticides in food are reducing sperm count. On the bright side, this spring, your penis will bloom larger and more fragrant than ever. <laughs> One of the study's authors said that over the course of 50 years, sperm concentration has fallen about 50% around the world, which is why in Australia, to understand why some sperms survive better than others, researchers are putting sperm through a kind of Hunger Games. <laughs> I look forward to other sperm experiments based on young adult books like The Fault in Our Pants <laughs> and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Actually, You Don't Want to Know What's in the Goblets. <laughs> Next up, dolphins seem to be able to sense electric fields in the water. Scientists rigged up a system whereby dolphins were trained to press a button when they sensed an electrical charge and then swim off to get a treat. So they felt a buzz and got food? Such simple creatures. I don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, my table at TGI Fridays is ready. There you go. That is. Mudslide pie. Next up, a group of researchers found that mice passed the mirror test, suggesting they recognize themselves, which is great news for all mice except three. Uh... I didn't do it to them. I'm not even the farmer's wife. In the experiment, researchers marked one side of the mouse's face with ink and noticed when the mice looked in the mirror, they groom themselves, apparently, to get the ink splotch off their face. So, basically, they bullied some mice. <laughs> hey, great job, mouse. Next, we're gonna study why you hitting yourself, huh? Why you hitting yourself? Why you hitting yourself, mousey? <laughs> Next up, locusts raised on a spinning centrifuge have stronger skeletons. By the way, locust centrifuge was also the name of my college prog rock band. <laughs> After spending two weeks in the centrifuge, German scientists would test the exoskeletons of the locusts by removing their hind legs and measuring how much force was required to snap them in two. <laughs> Sounds like somebody ran out of mice to torture. <laughs> Why locusts? Well, one of the scientists in the study, Jan Henning Dirks, explained, locusts have got some really beautiful hind legs. <laughs> Dirks has published his study in the New England Journal of Horny for Anthropods. <laughs> Next up, over in China, scientists have created a wireless charger that can stay safely in the human body. That headline again, scientists say, we can get these sperm counts lower. Uh, oh the device... The device is biodegradable, and its soft and flexible design allows it to adapt to the shape of tissue and organs. So you could charge a phone from anywhere in your body? Certainly gives new meaning to the term butt plug. <laughs> yep. It's a first. 
I believe that's a first. Yeah. Finally, a study reports that cats make nearly 300 facial expressions. It's true. Cats have so many expressions. There's aloof, impartial, <laughs> detached, nonchalant, distant, apathetic, remote, dispassionate, blasé, disinterested, lukewarm, indifferent, and of course, waiting for you to die so they can eat your eyeballs. <laughs> Until next time, this has been... The South <laughs> of Science. We'll be right back with Barbara Streisand.